everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some really easy tips on how to fix a stuck nail polish bottle and also some tips on how to prevent it from getting stuck. So the reason why a polish bottle gets stuck, in case you don't know, and I'm going to be showing this on um, one that isn't stuck, is when you paint your nails and you take your brush and you wipe off the excess polish on the rim, some of that product may drip down and get stuck in the crevices of where you screw the cap back onto the bottle. And over time, if this solidifies, um, it will basically glue the cap onto the bottle, which really stinks, especially if it's a color that you use a lot and you really like. And this is just a Sally Hansen Diamond Strength in number 17, which is platinum. And this method works on all brands of nail polish, Sally Hansen, OPI, um, Sephora brand, China Glaze, Essie, I've tried it on all of them. Um, so the things that you're going to need are a mug or cup filled with really hot water. You don't have to boil it, you just want to make sure that it's really hot. I just got this right out of the tap. Some nail polish remover, and this is just a Q-Tex. Um, regular in the twist and lock pump. I really like this because you can just pump it directly out onto the cotton pad. A cotton pad, and sorry that this is kind of dirty, I was just cleaning this one off. And I don't really like to waste these because you can use them more than once when you're cleaning off polish bottles. And some Vaseline. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so the first and really only step of what you're going to want to do to fix your um, stock polish is just take your mug of hot water, take your polish, and put it in the mug. It is pretty much that easy. The only thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that the polish is completely submerged in the hot water. And you're going to want to let this sit for around 10 or so minutes. Now the reason why we're letting it sit for 10 minutes and we're going to put it in the hot water is because as it sits in that hot water for 10 minutes, the polish that's keeping the cap stuck to the bottle will begin to loosen up and become softer so that when you take it out 10 minutes later and you try to unscrew it, the polish will be soft enough so you can take it off. So I'm just going to wait around for 10 minutes, probably work on my nails, file them a little bit. Bit, and I'll be back after 10 minutes to show you guys what the result is. Okay guys, so it's been around 10 minutes and my polish just has just been sitting in the water while I was working on my nails, like you guys saw. I'm just going to take it out of the water, and the water will have cooled down by now, so you won't have to worry about burning yourself. And you're just going to want to dry it off. And now what you're going to want to do is if you need more leverage on the cap, just take a hairband or a rubber band and wrap it around. And this will just help you get a better grip on the cap. So what you're going to want to do is get like a nice grip on the cap. And for some people it might be easier to open the cap. That means that there was less polish stuck. But for others it might be harder. Now, if you can't get it off the first time, I would suggest getting even hotter water and soaking it for, te for 10 more minutes. And that will definitely help it get off. So... That's only if you have a really stubborn um, nail polish. I have to do that with one of my OPI colors because OPI dries really hard. Um, so that's why I had to do it with that one. So you're going to want to get a nice grip on it, and then you're going to want to take it off. Now, you will feel resistance at the beginning, but after um, a couple turns, it will be able to come off. And you guys can see um, that you can see the nail polish that was actually stuck on the bottle. And if you, like push it with your like nail you'll feel that it is like softer and sort of mushy and now it's because of the hot water okay so now I'm gonna share with you guys some keys on preventing your nail polishes from getting stuck all right so the first thing that you're going to want to do to prevent is just take your cap um, and you can just clean off the brush so it doesn't drip and set it aside and then take your nail polish bottle and your cotton pad and get it wet with your um, polish remover and just take it and clean the cap. You're going to want to first clean the top of it by like just rubbing it back and forth. Then you're going to want to clean the edges. And you're going to want to clean the edges thoroughly. Um, because this way um, the polish won't be able to build up as fast. And then if you want to just clean it off like once a week that will be fine too. But uh, there's another thing you could do after you clean it off. Which is set your polish down and take some Vaseline. And then just take a little with your finger. You can use a Q-tip if you want. I'm using my finger. And just put that around the edges. And um, this will prevent the polish from actually getting on the bottle. It will sit on the Vaseline. And then every now and then you'll probably want to like wipe it off and put um, different like new Vaseline on. Um, just so that the Vaseline doesn't cause it to get stuck. So then you can just put your cap back on. And with the Vaseline on, it'll like slide so easily and so smoothly. So I hope you guys really like this tutorial. I hope you guys found it really helpful. I know this really helped me out. And now if for some reason your polish is so stubborn that it refuses to get stuck off, um, something that I would suggest doing, I've never had to do this, is taking a Q-tip, getting it really, really wet with um, 
nail polish remover and like getting it like squeegeeing it into the crevice and that might help I don't know I've never had to deal with that if I come across something like that I'll post a video that will hopefully help you guys so I really hope you guys like this video and please subscribe like and comment